Okay, so today's video is the first in first one of four instalments, um, which is going to be about a uh, new reel we've just purchased, the Pen Spin Fisher Longcast. Um, so this first video is going to be an unboxing. We just bought this today, picked it up from Fishing Republic down in Sunderland. Thank you very much to the guys down there. Um, so let's see what we've got. So on the box, you've just got the spin fisher, um, the model number, uh, that it's the long cast. It's also got um, the specifications, the gear ratios, etc. So gear ratio is 471, how much line you can get on the spools. It comes with two spools, a braid spool and a mono spool. Um, the weight of the reel, it is pretty heavy. Especially compared to the Surf Blaster. Let's have a look comparison. Actually, it's not that. I've got the box for the Surf Blaster here. It feels so much heavier, but it's only actually 50 grams more. Which isn't that much. 50 grams or 2 ounces more. It's not that much more. Um, it does have a full, full metal body, this one. Um which includes the side plate and the water. It's a completely watertight design. It's not that you're meant to go swimming with it or anything like that. But, you know, if if you're fishing in the surf and you get splashed, etc. No need to panic. Um, 5 plus 1 shielded stainless steel bearings. Infinite and reverse bearing, which are like in a wheel. And line capacity rings. So let's open that up and see what we've got. So again, the top of the box is just showing you the watertight design, etc, etc. Um, all packaged nice and neatly. HT100 drag system. Quick turn drag, I really like that on the pen wheels. Um, the next video, part two of this video series I'm going to do on this reel is actually going to be a comparison and it's I'm going to compare it to the two pen reels that we've previously been using which is the Surf Blaster 8000 and the Fierce 8000 which I think this spin fisher is a good combination of the best bits of those two reels so we'll have a look at that in the next video like I say. So out of the box we have the reel itself, we have the spare spool which is a mono spool, got the braid spool on it, some spare drag washers, uh, parts list, yeah, we'll need that when it comes to doing maintenance on it. And I suppose this is like a quick set guide, your warranty, etc. Now, before purchasing the reel, we did um, we did hear lots of good things about it. But you don't necessarily want to hear what's good about it, a reel before you go buy it or it, any product. What you really want to know is what's bad about it. So, we're members of a group on Facebook called the Fisherman's Locker. So basically we went on there and we said, right, what is people's bad opinions? What do you have bad to say about the spin fisher? And two things came up about it. One was the weight. Some people found that it was pretty heavy to use. Um, it probably is going to be an issue for me for a while, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Um, the second thing was... Apparently there's an issue where it's coming out of the factory with too much grease in the anti-reverse. But that's a pretty simple fix. So we'll maybe have a look at doing that as well on a video. Um, having a look at that and maybe melting some of the grease out. To make sure that we don't have any issues. But even if that did go, um, it should be a pretty simple fix. Because it, it, it was actually an issue I had with the surf blaster. And it was a repair that I had to do. So it's not that if if that's the worst that's going to happen for the price point for the powerhouse that it is meant to be then yeah all is well so let's open the bag up and 
see what we've got. Golden black colour scheme, it is pretty heavy. Lovely feel it, right? Quick turn drag. Yeah. Pretty powerful too. So you can see on there as well, you've got the full metal body symbol for the pen. Super line spool. One, and another thing, pen do well with their slow oscillation reels, which is what this is. They have fantastic line lay. That was one of the things that I really liked about the Surf Blaster in comparison to the um, Fierce. The line lay on Surf Blaster because of its slow oscillation was absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, pretty nice design. Nothing special, but. Feels good. Let's have a look at the mono spool in comparison to the braid spool. We'll take it off. We'll have a look. It's quite a bit of grease in there. And the drag on those clean some of that out, I think. Can you see that? Let's see what it's like in this one. They said the grease was blue. See the difference between the braid spool and the mono spool. Uh, line capacity it absolutely stacks. Um, Twenty pound. That's what we'd be going for. Uh, Twenty pound. You get like three hundred yards. That's like a stupid amount. And the braid spool. £30, 170 yards. That's loads as well. That's more than the surf blaster, I think. And we'll have to do a comparison and have a look at that. But yeah, really nice design. All aluminium. Quite a bit of this grease going on there. Seal design. Looks very similar to the surf blaster. So it'd be quite tricky to get that nut out leg. When it comes to it, this one in here, so that should be interesting. Let's take the handle off and have a look at that. This is all sealed. I don't want to come up. That's pretty tight, I don't want to force that. We'll have a look at that later. But yeah, first impressions of the reel, good solid reel, interested to get out and use it, um, and we'll be doing that very soon. We've also gone and purchased another new toy in the form of a uh, Century Blackbird, so what we'll do is we'll go out with the Blackbird and Spin Fisher, we'll pair the two up and we'll go out and we'll have a few casts and we'll see how they both fare. We have actually already gone out and had a play with the Blackbird and it's fantastic. I'll put a screenshot, a, a short clip on the end of this. It was casting that. Um, in case you don't know what the Blackbird looks like. It is a 16 foot century. And it's the carbon metal. Lovely rod. Look at common metal BB, lovely rod, pretty stiff for a continental style rod, very nice. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. Unboxing of the Spin Fisher Longcast. The next video will be a comparison video between the 
Spin Fisher, the Surf Blaster and the Fierce. Um, and we'll maybe include um, first customer of it as well. Aren't you dogs? So we'll see you in the next one.